Hey, JC here. JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio. 436 419-531-6097. Instagram at JC's Comics and More. www.jccomicsandmore.com. Email is JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. I do mail order. Purpose of this video is I've got somebody, Tony, has been wanting me to do a, a wall video. And I've got a couple other guys that have mentioned, yeah, they want to see my comics on the wall too. Because they're interested in doing, uh, doing some buying some comics. That uh, Tony saw something the other day that I set aside for him. And and I'm going to be doing uh, doing something else. And now this one here isn't going to be talking about these wall comics right now. Because I've got so much stuff that could be considered on the wall. Instead, I'm going to do, do this stack of comics here, these older comics. And then later tonight, I'm going to be posting another video on one of my walls. So we're just going to go through these rather quickly. And, of course, if you are interested at all, you can certainly email me again at the aforementioned JC's Comics, the letter N, more. So JC's Comics and more at Hotmail.com. So we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 99. I've got 30 on that. I've got 136. This is missing the the dreaded Marvel value stamp, but I've got $30 on this one. I've got the first appearance of Silver Sable, and this is $265. I got $35 on this. Death of Ned Leeds as the original Green, or uh, actually the Hobgoblin revealed that I got $25 on that. This is uh, $289. Here we've got a 363 of Amazing. We've got 27 on this. Um, I've got Avengers number 200 for $30. That's where Carol Danvers leaves the uh, leaves the Avengers as she uh, has birth to her son, and then she runs off with him. Great George Perez artwork and Jim Shooter. Here we've got Batman uh, 235. I've got $16 on this. Interesting. This has uh, the letters page has letters from Frank Robbins. Bob Razakis and Dave Sim, who of course created Cerebus. Uh, I've got 16 on that. Uh, this uh, has a Bob Razakis uh, uh, letter in there, and uh, we've got 22 on that. Actually, let's see, it's number 240. I see somebody had my comics out of order. We've got 236 also. This is $16. This has a Frank Robbins takes over writing. So, and okay, and I see I should have went through these or been sitting out there for people to look through, and they have looked through them. This is 225. I've got 15 on that, so some comics that are out of order that I guess I should not assumed that they were in correct order. So we've got 249, I've got 25 on that. I've got 250. I've got 13. I've got Black Panther number three. I've got nine dollars on that. So the first series by Jack Kirby. I've got Captain America 216 for four dollars. That's a reprint of uh, Tales of Suspense, with uh, not the original Captain America, but the acrobat came back. And they've got a great uh, Gil Kane and Ernie Cohen cover or Ernie Chan cover. We've got 217. The first appearance of Quasar. Uh, that's ten dollars on that. They've got. Uh, 246 for three dollars. The return of a man called Joe, who was last seen in Amazing Spider-Man number uh, 38. Great George Perez cover. The graffiti features uh, different members of the Marvel bullpen. 247 for four dollars. That's John Byrne artwork. 249 four dollars. John Byrne artwork as well. As well as so the 252. I've got four dollars on that. Uh, Mike Zek took over and got Doc Ock first in cap. I got three dollars on that. We've got the first appearance of Crossbones. This is twenty dollars on the three sixty. We've got Cap Special number eight. Uh, I've got eight dollars in that. This features some reprints of Tales of Suspense. We've got a Frank Miller, uh, Claus Jansen issue of Daredevil one eighty eight for seven dollars. We've got a two thousand three convention sketchbook uh, uh, autographed by Joe Lindsner for fifty dollars. Uh, this is number six thirty five of two thousand. Got Deadpool number nine from the first uh, Joe Kelly run for twelve dollars. Defenders number fifty nine. This was written by David Anthony Kraft. Uh, Terranine mutation. They're not a rock group. This features a story featuring the Blue Oyster Cult. We've got Detective Comics number five twenty seven for six dollars. Doctor Strange thirty five for four dollars. Jim Starlin artwork. Jim Starlin uh, uh, written on the inside. 
We've got number 26 for $6, Jim Starlin cover and artwork on the inside. Dr. Strange, number 30 for $4. Dr. Strange, 31 for $4. Falling in Love, one of the DC Romance comics. It got $10. This is number 97 on this. Here we got Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, issue number three. Uh, of course, Bill Cosby's uh, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, William H. Cosby Jr. Uh, I've got from Carlton Comics, the Ghost Manor, number uh, number one. This is fifteen dollars. I almost want to say this is a Jim Apparel cover, but it's not. But Ghost Manor number one, Giant says Captain America number one. There's a bunch of reprints. Uh, that's $9. <coughs> I think that's a bunch of uh, Tales of Suspense uh, stories. Girls Love Stories, again, DC Comics, $134. i have got $10 on that. Godzilla, number 17 from Marvel Comics, $8 on that. Do You Dare How Enter the House of Mystery? This is a Jim Starlin cover, $281 for $5. Incredible Hulk, number 194 for $5. Versus the Locust, I believe that's his first appearance. Got Gil Kane cover with John Romita redrawn, uh, uh, or Gil Kane and John Romita maybe did the inks, but that's certainly a John Romita face on the Hulk. Got Just Imagine Stan Lee's The Flash for seven fifty, seven fifty on Shazam, seven fifty on Superman, Kingdom Come first print number one for six fifty. I've got the Eric Larson Marvel Comics presents number forty eight for six dollars. This starts the run of the Barry Windsor Smith Weapon X. So we got number 73 for 750. 74 for 650. 75 for 6. Another 75 for 450. A 76 for six dollars. And also, I guess I should be showing the back so you can see some of the other features that are in these comics as well. Here we got the Sam Keith cover. If you look at the human torch. He's uh he's packing he's packing and he's ready to go. Uh, I've got the Black Knight. I got uh, I think this is a Brent Blevins cover on the back. So Barry Smith did the front covers and the back covers were drawn by different people except for this here. This is Eric Larson and the Wasp is not looking quite as uh, petite as she sometimes usually did. Eric Larson draws his women pretty ample, just like the real world. Here we have. Uh, Marvel Comics presents number 77 for 650. I've got one for 650, so actually I got both two of them for 650. I've got a number 78 for six. There's the back cover on that. I've got a number 80 for six dollars. Got another 81 for six dollars. Got an 82 for six dollars. Eric Larson back cover. Got an 83 for six dollars. Got an 84 for 750. This is a wraparound cover. Marvel team up uh, number seven with uh, Spidey and Thor. Gil Kane cover. Gil Kane insides for nine dollars. Marvel Tales number 44. This is 350. This was a brand new original cover that was put on that issue. Mighty Isis, number six, for $4. We've got Mr. Miracle, the uh, Marshall Rogers run. This is number 19 for $5. We've got number 21 for $5. 22 for $5. The late, great Marshall Rogers. Monsters on the Prowl, number 29, uh, for uh, $8. This is New Gods, and they called it the Return of the New Gods. New Gods number 15 uh, for, for uh, uh, $8. I believe this is a Rich Buckler cover. I've got another number 18. That's an L. Milgram cover. And here we go. I know this is what people have been waiting for. New Kids on the Block. This is number two. You can own your New Kids on the Block comics for everything that you've been missing. This is this is your chance. This is number two for four fifty. This is Backstage Pass number two. For four fifty, you've got issue three of Backstage Pass for four fifty. This does have a sticker price on it, though. So just point that out to you. You've got Chillin number one for four fifty. Got Donnie and the whole gang there. Got Chillin number two for four fifty. 
Number three for 450. Number one for 450. So something great. If you know a, a new kids on the block uh, fan, aren't they out on tour or something? You can get this for them. Surprise them. Surprise the hell out of them. They probably don't even know this exists. You got Comic Tour 90. Number two for, for 450. Number three for 450. This is Comic Tour 90. This is Comic Tour 91. But uh, get Hanging Tough issue one for 450 with a, of course, a photo cover on that one. Okay, we're going to move on to this uh, stack next. Uh, this is going to have New Mutants number one for $20. As I'm putting these comics back, we'll just kind of focus on that. And you can see also we're going to have an adventure comics with the Spectre coming up as well. And again, don't worry, I will be getting to these comics on the wall, but I've got just so much stuff like this. There's so many of these books, like some of these Batmans, if I had room on the wall, they'd go up on the wall. Uh, I do have a 363 on the wall. Uh, I do have some Amazings on the wall. I do have a 99 on the wall right up there right now. But this one might be a little bit better condition. I'd have to pull that one down and have a look-see. But here we go. We've got uh, New Mutants number one. Not their first appearance, but I do have their first appearance. Uh, we do have those copies on the wall with the Marvel graphic novels. You'll get a chance to see those. I think I've got two copies. But we've got $20. We've got $6 on number four. We've got five on five. Five on six. Got the Barry Windsor Smith Mutant Massacre issue number 46. Uh, he did the cover at least. I think uh, Butch Geis, I think he did the insides maybe. Uh, but this is $6. New Teen Titans, uh, Marv Wolfman and George Perez's epic run. This is uh, issue number 7 for $12. Number 8 for $12. Number 10 for $15. Terminator's back, and boy, is he mad. You better believe it. Number 22 uh, for Parents of Brother Blood, I do believe, for five. Uh, you've got the first Parents of Terra. Uh, well, introduced. I think she did show up in a uh, previous issue in sort of a, a cameo row. But this is number 28 for 10. Number 35 for five. Number 40 for seven. Annual two for 25. We have the first appearance of the new Vigilante. Uh, we get annual one for ten again. Comics out of order. I count on people putting stuff back correctly, and unfortunately, you see how that works out for me sometimes. Keebler Company and uh, DC presents New Teen Titans. This is one of the uh, the president's drug awareness issues for seven dollars. Quasar one for ten dollars. Again, I do have his first appearance in Cap three seventeen that you saw. You got the Frank Thorne. Red Sonia's, uh, this is uh, $9 on the number 5, 9 on the number 6. We've got 5 on the number 11. We've got 5 on the number 13. This looks like a Fred, uh, red uh, Frank Thorne cover, but I think it's uh, a Steve Leolona. I think that's his name. Uh, but uh, he was gone on the book, I think, by this point. And I think this is one of the last issues, but that's five. We've got Spider-Woman number two for $4. I do have a Spider-Woman number one up there, I believe, somewhere. I do have another a number one. I've got that either on this wall here or on my other walls. But got number two for $4. Number four for four. Number five for six. We've got number 11 for six. Star Wars number one, unfortunately not the one through fours, and certainly not the 35 cent variants, the first four were 35 cent variants. But we've got number five for nine, we've got six for seven, we've got 13 for five. We've got a great John Byrne and Terry Austin cover, a very rare John Byrne cover on Star Wars. We've got number 14, that's when uh, Carmen Infantino took over with uh, Terry Austin. I got six on that. Got a Dave Cockrum cover on number 17 for 15. <coughs> number 19 for 15. Number 27 for 9. Number 30 for 5. Strange Tales, number 2, featuring Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange. Brent Blevins cover for 7. We've got Walt Simonson's 4. Uh, Curse, uh, number 363 for $4. I think uh, Gil, uh, Selba Semo was doing the insides at that point. Or this still might have been one of the last Simonson issues. I know Sal certainly was doing the insides of Thor 374. I do have $4 on that. Here we have some of the Marv Wolfman and Gene Colan Tuma Draculas. That number 11 for 13. 
Number 14 for 19. Number 20 for 11. This has the Marvel value stamp intact. It's number 88, the leader. Number 24 for 15. This has the Marvel value stamp intact. It's number 57, the vulture. Number 27 for $8. This has a Marvel value stamped intact. It's number 69, Marvel Girl. There's a Marvel House ad with Marvel Treasure Edition for Spectacular Spider-Man. And uh, we do have a phone ring, so I will pause at this point. Okay, I am back. We've got Tomb of Dracula, number 30. This is $15. Marvel value stamped is intact. It's number 20, was it 23, Sergeant Fury House ad, Marvel Treasure Edition. Uh, the Marvel Holiday Grab Bag Special is in this here. We've got Tomb of Dracula, number 35. This is $6. Marvel Value Stamped is intact. It's number 74, The Stranger. We've got number 38. This is $8. This has a house ad for the DC Marvel Wizard of Oz. And it also has a hostess of ads. Number 43, Bernie Wrightson cover. Marvel Value Stamped impact, uh, intact. It's number 64. It's one of the puzzles. Puzzle when they did the second one, uh, house ad uh, for DC Marvel Superman uh, versus Spider Man. This is ten dollars. Uh, issue number forty six, Tomb of Dracula. Uh, this has a loose cover. It has a GI Joe ad featuring John Romita artwork. This is five dollars. Got number forty eight. This is eleven dollars. Number fifty two. This is seventeen dollars. This has a six million dollar. Man, add on the inside for the uh, for the uh, action figures. It's number fifty-five for seven dollars. King Kong film add on the inside front cover for the Dino De Lorenzis uh, King Kong with uh, Jessica Lange. Uh, that was a great. I don't know. People didn't like it. Myself, I'm as a as a thirteen year old. I loved it. Uh, Tomb of Dracula number fifty-six for thirteen dollars. Tomb of Dracula number fifty-seven for eleven dollars. Tomb of Dracula number fifty-nine for eighteen dollars. This has a Godzilla number one house ad and a Marvel tie on the Marvel titles house ad. And we do have a Godzilla number one up on the wall there as well. Uh, so we'll be doing something with that. I got thirty dollars on the Godzilla one. I've got a couple another couple of number sixties. This has a human fly house at it. This one's eight dollars. I do have one for twelve dollars. Uh, this is a Marvel, the Marvel Clark Bar contest ad in this, and this is nine dollars. Uh, this uh, number sixty-nine, and that was issue number sixty-five, by the way. Number sixty-nine was nine dollars. We've got unusual tales. This is, I believe, from uh, Atlas, uh, which. Well, no, this is called Carlton. Uh, this is number. Okay, this is this is issue number seven. Uh, okay, I am going to pause this real quick, open this up, and look to see what issue number this is. So, hang on, please. That is issue number twenty-five. You see, it has a uh, Steve Ditko cover. However, it looks like paint or something is on the front cover. Here we have the Whitman. Uh, Walt Disney Comics and Stories. This is number 482. This was in low distribution. This is number 40. is $48. Uh, here's the number 484. Again, low distribution. $40. Got War is Hell number 8 for $5. Wolverine number 1 in his ongoing series for $14. You've got the uh, reprint. I think this was in uh, the some of the action figures that came out at the time. But uh, six dollars on the reprint of X Men number thirteen. Same with this uh, one thirty three reprint. That's four fifty on that. Uh, we've got a number one forty of Uncanny X Men with the Wendigo. Uh, we've got thirteen dollars on that. One forty three. I've got thirty five. This is John Byrne's last issue with a Terry Austin cover. We've got two thirteen. Saber Tooth versus Wolverine battle. Alan Davis. Eighteen dollars. We've got a cameo of Gambit in this. X-Men number 14. This predates on KDX and 266. We do have another one for $40. I do have a X-Men number 25 where Magneto rips out Wolverine Skeleton for $10. We've got a X-Men 50 for $650. We've got an Alpha, X-Men Alpha for $25. And we've got one for $10. So I'm going to pause this real quick and we'll move to this other stack quickly. Okay, we've got Adventure Comics number 431 for $13. That's when the Spectre began. 
We've got Nick Fury Agent Shield number six for fifteen dollars. We've got Nick Fury Agent of Shield number twelve for ten dollars. Nick Fury Agent of Shield number uh, uh, Actually, that was number number ten for twelve, number ten for twelve dollars, number twelve for fifteen dollars. Got showcase presents with the Spectre number sixty one. We got fifty dollars on that. They're fighting for the WWF uh, World Championship. You see, the Devil has the belt. The Spectre wants the belt. Uh, I've got the Spectre and showcase number sixty four. I've got sixty five on this. Again, these are comics. If I had room on the wall, they'd be on the wall. First appearance of Phantom Stranger in issue number eighty. This is Neil Adams. This is fifty five dollars. Showcase presents with the Doom Patrol. This is the new Doom Patrol. Uh, this is number ninety four for twenty dollars. Joe Stanton. You've got number ninety five for ten dollars. Good number 96 for ten dollars. Got some tales to astonishes. Again, if I had a room on the wall, these would be on the wall. You've got number 67 for 25. Number 68 for 34. Number 69 for 30. Another 69 for 35. A 70 for 35. A 71 for 10 features uh, uh, Gene Cohen's artwork, but he wasn't uh, known as Gene Cohen in those issues. He's working for somebody else, so he went under a different pen name. There's another 71 for $12, a 72 for $8, another 72 for $11, 73 for 13 a 74 for 18 a 75 for 15 a 77 for for 17, a 78 for 14. There's another 78 for 10, an 80 for 20, an 81 for 30, an 82. This is uh with uh I think first Iron Man crossover into another title other than the Avengers. This is number eighty-two for forty, and then of course the Submariner crossover into Tales of Suspense. And a great again Gene Colon cover. Got an eighty-three for forty-five. Here we've got Thor one sixty-five and uh him taking on him. I think this is him's actual first appearance, whereas Fantastic Four uh, 66 and 67 was the origin of him, and you get to see the cocoon. But here's him's first appearance, who, of course, went on to become Adam Warlock. And then that's the second part. And then after this, he disappears until Marvel Premiere 1, and then officially becomes Adam Warlock. But I've got 55 on that issue of Thor. And of course, there, like I said, if there's any of these you're interested in, uh, that I can shoot you better pictures if you do want better pictures. But the email is jccomicsandmore at hotmail.com. Try and be a little patient because I might have quite a few people inquiring on this. But we do mail order. And uh, I can let you know about the, the how I do the mail order. Uh, I don't use PayPal. I take your information over the phone. I do have guys I've worked with before that have taken their information. I've been doing this for 34 years. I am not ripping anybody off at this point. Uh, I've got too much of a... Too much of a reputation, and and again, I want you to get your cool comics. There's a guy in Pittsburgh that orders stuff. He bought a giant size X Men one off me just a couple weeks ago, and a, a, a Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 87, and uh, I think he also bought a Beware the Creeper off me, and he's actually been in my shop as well. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching. And if you guys do like these videos, certainly. Uh, Certainly, you know, subscribe, certainly smash that bell for notification. And also, if I can ask you guys, certainly share these things. Share these things on the uh, social media. Share these things on your Facebook uh, comic book uh, group pages because there's lots of other people who might be interested in these comics. You know, my shop's in Toledo, Ohio. I count on people from Toledo, Ohio, but I really count on uh, folks from across the country that you guys are the ones that see these comics and just, just grab and snatch these comics up. Uh, I certainly appreciate that, and I certainly appreciate Tony for, for kind of for hounding me, for like, come on, man, do it, do it. 
you know, I've been wanting to do it, and uh, some of the sales I've had kind of has spurred me. So you guys are encouraging me to do more of these. But other than that, have a great March 2nd. Thank you.